first quarter. And now Giannis Davis in on second down, and the catch is made by the newcomer, Darius Passmore, at wide receiver as Derek Armstrong released this week, and the younger, faster Passmore gets his chance. A little slant route here from Passmore, who's going to come off the back of G. Roy Simon, who's up front right on the line of scrimmage there, and just cut underneath him. But Derek Armstrong was... Garbage-wise, the second receiver in the Lions' list when he was released. There's now there's Davis, kicks it the other way. Giannis Davis in a foot race, and Chris McKenzie finally angles him out inside the 10. Saskatchewan Rough Riders currently ranked right around the middle of the pack defensively against the run, but it looks like the game plan for the BC Lions is the perimeter, and it's the run game, whether it be... Jamal Robertson or Giannis Davis and I know Wally Buono would like to see more of him. Well, it's first and goal. PC at the seven, the toss left side. Robertson dragged down at the five. Brent Hawkins, who had his breakout game against the Lions in July with the tackle. They have to rally to that play. You know, there's been a lot of criticism over the last two or three weeks sent in the direction of offensive coordinator Jacques Chapelain, talking about the fact that he's not using too much imagination, not enough, and not involving Jamal Robinson on a team that has struggled in the area of protection for the quarterback. Well, he's changed that up here tonight, and the run game is prominent. This is a six-play drive so far with six running plays, and now second and goal from the five out of the bunch formation. Into the end zone, and that's overthrown. Simon was tangled up with Chris McKenzie, and it falls incomplete. Yeah, a little hand fighting between both players and both G. Roy Simon. He's going to discuss it, but not a big argument here. You can see Simon in the middle of your screen. Goes on Chris McKenzie, and the officials will allow you to hand fight. That's what that's called. Just McKenzie, the defensive halfback, hand fighting a little bit with Simon, and both players, the defensive back and receiver, in that case would tell you, that's the way they want it. No flags on that. Let us decide the outcome. Simon's only two touchdowns of the year have come in the game against Saskatchewan, but for the second time, Paul McCallum called upon. Here in this opening quarter, short field goal attempt is driven through. And now it's a one-point game at Mosaic. Interesting week. Yeah, it's been tough. It's been tough to follow. Bit of the municipal government there may be pushing that team out of the city. We'll see if Bob Young can shed any more light on the Ticat situation tomorrow. As well as a pretty important game between those two. Two and four teams who are sick of each other. A couple of field goals after trips to the red zone for the Lions. And Donald Dorsey trying to get untracked. Doesn't reach the 30-yard line. That's been an area of concern for Saskatchewan. Darian Durant over the last few weeks has been struggling with food poisoning and went and played after just a couple of meals in the entire work week against the Montreal Alouettes a week ago. Also has a bit of a a thumb injury on his passing hand. He says that both are fine now. He feels a lot better. He's in regular meals, and his thumb is strong. Ken Miller looking for more accuracy from his quarterback, even though he threw for over 400 against Montreal. Look out when he gets healthy. Yeah. Thank you, Gates. There's Rodriguez. And Dante Marsh stuck with him, and Joe Henderson will punish the former Ticat wideout. You mentioned that they'd like to get the ball to Precio Rodriguez in the last couple of games. Rodriguez is always the wide receiver and often to the short side of the field. One catch per game in the last two. We've gone to him a couple times early on here tonight. Best game of the season was a five-catch effort against the Lions. Six for Rodriguez, second and four. Short drop, Rob Bag. First down. Well, straight out of Davis Sanchez as he steps out 
at the 49. Sanchez is real unhappy with Stanley Franks. The halfback inside as they discuss where Franks needs to be on that play. Zone defense and Rob Bag is just going to sit on the outside and what Sanchez number two in the right corner of your screen is trying to tell him and you can see Franks isn't even sure what the defensive call is. So Bag takes advantage. He's in that open area. Picks up a first down. Rob Bag 20th in receiving one of four Saskatchewan receivers in the top 20. First down looks one way and now Bag underneath and a short gain maybe a yard as he was at the 50 and then nailed by Corey Banks and Stanley Franks. A tremendous Canadian receiving core and Preci Rodriguez and Weston Dressler sprinkled in but when you look at Andy Fantus and the top Canadian receivers in the CFL Andy Fantus on pace for his first thousand yard season there's Chris gets lap it's second and eight time running out on Durant for Ron Williams in pursuit there's a sign that Darian Durant feels better as he runs for first down that's one thing he said that he felt like he was throwing the ball well he attempted over 60 throws against Montreal and we talked about the 400 yards but he said he was a little reluctant to run especially quarterback draw but a little reluctant to scramble as well because he did, just didn't feel like he had the strength to do it and you're right you can see that he does tonight number nine in rushing coming into this game and a first down rump of 10 yards into Lion territory at the BC 49 and he'll toss down Darian Durant. Good controlled rush by Corey Banks. And talking to Durant last yesterday at the walkthrough practice, he said he's got to know where number 24 for the BC Lions is at all times. He's got to spot him because sometimes he'll come and sometimes he'll drop off. Well, this time he came on the blitz. And watch how controlled he is. Doesn't want to run by Darian Durant. He's a good runner, so it's a good overfield tackle from Corey Banks. And Durant did well to hold on to the football. Loss of seven on the fourth sack of the season for Corey Banks. So second and 17, three-man rush. And a flag underneath Andy Fantuz would have the first down. Looks like it's coming back. Holding Saskatchewan number 64. 10 yard penalty. Repeat second down. That's the right tackle, Dan Goodspeed. Yeah, he's working on Brent Johnson on the play. It looked like his hands and positioning was pretty good to start with. But big 64 here at right tackle. He does start to push the shoulder pads of Brent Johnson down towards the ground and he grabs the outside part of the jersey, and that's why the flag is called or thrown. Well, they almost converted on. Second and 17. What do you got? Second and 27. Again, a three man rush. Rob Bag underneath. Davis Sanchez steps up, and Bag will be forced out near midfield. Stanley Franks jostling with Bag at the Rough Rider bench. And a couple of those, Rob Bag and Davis Sanchez, got into it. That earlier throw, and then that time. Bag involved again. But the Saskatchewan Rough Riders will have to punt a couple of that penalty. Put the first down off the board. So Eddie Johnson in. Off the side of his foot. And the ball on the carpet. Who's got it? Looks like the Lions got back on it after it was misplayed by Andrew Harris. And Harris gets it back. Andrew Harris. Trouble trying to track that one down from the get-go. He went way to his left and then like he misjudged it completely. And it was Giannis Davis who recovers that. Bails out his fellow returner. Boy, the Rough Riders had a shot at that football. But the Lions have it. 
First down at their 22. And Arsenal well read by Brent Hawkins. And a late flag at the end of the play. You see what the flag is, but plays like that, you're taking a receiver and you're running him across the formation. Any type of defensive line penetration will cause you problems in that kind of play. And that time, saw Brent Hawkins get that penetration. There's no infraction on the play. Second down. Third rush of the year for Arsenal, and Hawkins comes up with a another big play. Arsenal's coming in this direction, so you need time and you need to establish the line of scrimmage to have success on a play like that. If you get penetration defensively, you're in big, big trouble. Brent Hawkins, who now has two sacks against the BC Lions in that big play, a tackle for a loss. Into the final minute of this opening quarter, it's second and 13, big pressure, and they screen it off, and it's handed off to Robertson. Flag on the play as that ball was caught by Dean Valley, the left guard, and he hands it off to Jamal Robertson. <laughs> but an illegal, <laughs> ineligible receiver. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, you don't see this very often, but <laughs> I'm not sure what was going through the mind of Dean Valley <laughs> because you can guess. I'll tell you what. Ineligible thing. receiver, BC, number 54. Penalties half the distance to the goal. Repeat second down. I can tell you one thing. Dean Valley is not the intended receiver. There's Dean Valley there. The intended receiver is Jamal Robertson, but they end up side by side. But the question here is, what is Dean Valley thinking as the ball's traveling? Yeah, I got it. Well, wait a minute. I'm not supposed to catch it. You take it. <laughs> wow. Well, if that's an audition for tight end, I'm not sure it worked. From his goal line, pass skip. One hop to Arsenault. And it'll be third down. Well, you know... <laughs> It's, it's something that I don't think I've seen in the 15 years in the booth is an offensive lineman pulling on the screen and then catching the football and handing it off to the running back. But it puts the Lions in such a big hole now. Wally Buono is looking at giving up the safety. Pretty much has to. And that was a play that would have generated a first down. So <laughs> it was... There's kind a guy. of fun to see and funny to see, but it, it put the Lions in a hole. Guy tried to do too much, and yeah. when you're struggling, they emphasize just do your own job. Well, they're going to kick it out of there. And a pretty good boot by McCallum. Dorsey from his 51. It's across midfield and down to the BC 51, but that penalty puts the Lions in a real field position dilemma. Well, great confidence from Wally Buono for Paul McCallum, his punter, who had a 41.6-yard average coming in, but McCallum gets a good kick there, and I love the decision because I like when teams will punt it out of their end zone and have a little faith in their defense. Go out there and get a 2 and out and keep Saskatchewan away from field goal range. I love when coaches make the decision. Wally Buono made it there. That's why the rule change went in last year. So it remains a one-point game here on what could be the final play of this first quarter. Wes Keats spilled at the 48, and we'll get one more offensive play in. Steve Williams in on the tackle. Wes Keats, part of the number one rated rushing offense in the league. In fact, the Rough Riders lead in 12 different categories. Top rushing team. Top passing team. And flags fly. And Anthony Reddick tried to time up the blitz and jump the gun. Ron Williams reminding him of the importance of this game. Offside, BC, number 26. Five-yard penalty remains second down. So now it's second and two. Anthony Reddick getting a lot more playing time as this season progresses because he has made some big plays, has an interception, has a couple of sacks on this season. But a little anxious there, and it, it puts basically puts the riders in field goal range. They're very close. So the penalties continue to haunt. 
Gates, Rod Williams, Gates with a helmet, has the first down. Oh, you gotta love that. Didn't matter to him. End of one quarter, Bet Mosaic.